here today I'm going to make some uh, pastry, but I'm going to make a different sort of pastry. And this machine, the Robocook, gives me the ability to do something really nice. I've got whole hazelnuts here, whole chocolate, coffee beans, cinnamon stick, and vanilla pod. Now, this vanilla pod is, you know, everyone knows how expensive they are, but by just cutting a piece and leaving it in the machine, you get the full benefit of the flavour. The same with the coffee bean. I can get the coffee bean straight into the mix, and, and that bean will then go right into the flavour of, of the dish. And I can grind all these down, same with the cinnamon. So that all goes into the bowl. Pop the lid on. And first of all, I'm just going to put it on turbo, and this is going to take this down to a powder, like ice and sugar. Just need to do this for about 30 seconds, that's all. Doesn't take very long. It's just, it's just so instant. Right, I've taken that right down now. It's just like a nice, fine powder. I'm just going to add my butter and flour. Add the egg, all in one go. Replace the lid. Now, I turn the speed to reverse. You can set the timer if you want to go away and do something else. And because it's got this, this vent here, when you're doing anything hot, this doesn't glaze over, so you can always see in the bowl. Okay, now the pastry's ready. You can just give it a turn as well, leave it off the sides. Take the bowl off. Now, there's a little magic thing about this bowl which you don't get with any other machine I know of, is the pastry will fall out, but the blade won't. Okay, the pastry's made now, so this is gonna turn into a, a, a tart base. Now we've got the tart made, now I'm gonna make a ganache. Now, the unusual way that this machine can help us again is because of the turbo speed, I can then crush down some more coffee beans, which I've got here, my vanilla and sugar, and take it down to a lovely smooth consistency. Gonna go straight onto turbo. And then just going to use the paddle here to turn it round as well. That's great. I'm going to now add my confit of orange, a little slug of brandy, add our cream. That's enough just to bring it together. Now we add our final ingredients chocolate. This is bitter chocolate. Nice dark flavour. We can now set the temperature. Set that about just on to about 42. There we are. And then we can put that now onto the reverse speed. There we are. And then we can put the timer on. For about five minutes, that should do us. And then all we literally do is press that and that will heat and turn so the ganache will just very, very gently become a nice creamy, buttery consistency. Right, the ganache is actually made for us now. The, the actual temperature is 42 that I set and it, the machine just varies a little bit because of the turning motion. It's that sensitive, it will pick up just one or two degrees difference in the chocolate. That's why it's ideal for tempering. So that's all done now, I can turn it off. Remove the lid. This lid is totally comes apart and you can just put the whole thing through a dishwasher so it's very easy to clean. Now, here comes the magic bit about uh, the, the, this thing. Because this is magnetized, it doesn't, it doesn't fall away from us. We can literally just use it as a jug. Now that just needs to go to chill for a, about an hour. And here's the final tart in its completion and an afternoon tea fancy.